Hello, I'm Chris Griscom and this is Alexander, our beautiful facilitator of the Light Institute, who works internationally with many corporations and individuals, and we're here talking about themes of our lives. There's so many themes that are important because the world is going through so many changes today. Themes that are a collective and themes that are individual. So Alexander, please talk to us about what you think is important in terms of these themes that could help our, ourselves individually and our planet at this time. I have more and more people that are concerned about our planet. Yes. Uh, and um, they're really concerned about um, the earthquakes, floods, uh, hurricanes, yes. and that um, all these catastrophes will be increasing, also global warming. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're not knowing where we're going from here, and also what kind of a um, ecological system and planet we will be passing on to our children and grandchildren. Mm -hmm. That is so important, to have the vision that recognizes that what we do affects the future. Mm -hmm. um, so many um, people believe that it is either the economy that we can strengthen and it will hurt the planet, or if we try to save the planet, it will hurt the economy, or um, you know, a lot of gains will be lost, mm -hmm. um, things will be more expensive. Um, because we, you know, we save the environment. That's a very important point. And we have to figure out how to bring them together so that there's an abundance on all level. Yeah, and we had a lot of conversations, especially in the 60s and 70s, you either a tree hugger yeah. or you worked <laughs> in a corporation. Yeah. And also for the individual, it was the question, well, if I want to save the planet, I will, you know, I have to live on little money. Mm -hmm. And if I go into through the corporate world, we make the best decisions for the planet and the environment, because there will be pressure on me to make the decision that makes the most money. Mm -hmm, exactly. So we really have that survival conversation and that level of greed that doesn't see the whole, the hologram, the bigger picture. And we start to see more and more technologies that do help the planet, um, that are supported mm -hmm. now, but we need many more and we need new inventions. Yes, you know, we, we haven't solved um, our transportation problems yet. So. Yes. And we have to care, yeah. otherwise we won't solve the problems. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us how this uh, work in terms of incarnations could affect that and influence a person's capacity to bring these two, the economy and the environment together. Um, we have to step into our holographic mind and, yes. and stop thinking either or, it's either the economy or the earth. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Could you give us an example in all of your work that might express it? Yeah. I had a client who was actually uh, more in the corporate world, uh -huh. um, but yeah. he also cared a, a lot about the planet and uh, wanted to help more and wanted to be able to make decisions and um, create businesses that would help the planet. And um, he looked actually at a positive lifetime mm -hmm. in which he was able to um, turn it around and it was a lifetime in Egypt mm -hmm. in which they were experiencing floods which then took out uh, a lot of the, the crops so they started to have problems to feed their people mm -hmm. um, which created political problems of mm -hmm. um, you know um, maybe war mm -hmm. um, and disturbances and he kind of like today yeah <laughs> yes yeah Mm -hmm. And so he sat down on the Nile and just looked at the water and just felt the earth. And he, all of a sudden he started to come up with this idea, he was an engineer, mm -hmm. um, of digging uh, the trenches but a certain way. Mm -hmm. So um, the flood waters would go into an irrigation system and, and uh -huh. nurture the fields and also have like an overflow protection. And also to have the fields in a certain way. Um, so they could rotate the crops and which would give better results with harvest and they implemented that and uh, they had much higher rates of harvest they could have more fields they had different crops at different times mm -hmm. and um, in that lifetime he could turn it around so in um, his life now he felt more compelled to really go for it and um, 
uh, create businesses and start a company that was actually supporting environmental means like uh, solar energy and, and uh, uh, wind energy and um, directions like that. Fantastic. Yeah. And I think it's very important to realize that uh, the wisdom is inside us and that every one of us can be part of the answer. So thank you. That's very inspiring and to recognize that uh, we have wonderful incarnations of the soul that are very positive, that can support our future. Thank yes. you, Alexandra.